Richard here, and today we have a Craigslist find. This is a late 1960s Black & Decker circular saw. <clears throat> I bought this about a week ago for $30, which I think is a pretty good find because it's very... It's somewhat original. I can't say very, but it has a... It did come with a lot of things that is somewhat useful. This handle I had to oil because before it was somewhat hard to move to get up like this. And it just squeaked a lot, so I oiled that. So without further ado... First, alright, this is the this is the blade that it came with, if the original very is still sharp. According to the old owner of this circular saw, uh, the the guy who owned this before only used it a couple times and then stuck a couple mothballs in here and let it sit for the past forty five years. Inside we have our circular saw with the original cord, uncut, perfect condition for a cord. Because usually what tends to happen is sometimes the original owner will cut through this by mistake or it will be all taped up, but no. The power thing, uh, I had to sand. It looks better in real life than it does in the picture before it was much mustier than... I meant, how can that cord be? It was much corrode. It had a lot of corrosion on it. Now, according to this, this is a model U, uh, one thirty, seven and a fourth inch utility saw. It has a. It has a one horsepower engine, a maximum RPM of forty four hundred. And it runs on 115 volts AC, as these things usually do. It is a tight DA, if I haven't said that already. This is a new blade. I put, I bought it about a few days ago. I bought an ultra finish because I'm going to be using this to be cutting uh, molding for a window. And that type of stuff. And I wanted a blade that would make a clean cut. All in all, this is in pretty good condition for its age. It is from 1967. This is an oil wick where you will put oil in, where you can put motor oil. I put the 3-in-1 motor oil in it, which is the one in the blue can. The one, The one in the red can you do not use because it has detergents in it and you will ruin your motor because the detergents will put all the dirt that's in this all the dirt that's all around it into the bearing and then it'll all <clears throat> let's just say it'll ruin your bearing inside we have the original owner's manual we have the pamphlet that would have been attached to the saw, uh, mostly advertising all the features of it. <clears throat> we have one of the attachments that this thing came with, the U1918 all angle uh, cutoff guide. Come on. I wish this thing would focus more. You get the idea. A rip cut guide also with it. An attachment that doesn't fit this. An attachment I don't know where it goes to. And to replace <clears throat> two wrenches to remove the thing with. Now, there's something funny about this saw. Uh, for some reason, I think that these, this was either 
Well, I don't know, but if I'm accurate, this might have been... He might have owned two saws and mix-matched them because, as you can notice, this is a model 7301, which is the same model as what this thing is, but it's the... Model 7301 is what this was called after 1970, as the U-130 was before 1970. This, however, does say U-130, and it has a date of 767 where I got the date from for this thing. So I assume this thing is more accurate than that. This might have been a replacement for something. Maybe the original owner lost the manual, or this was bought right around the time they were switching it, and it was a mix match. Regardless, I don't know, I don't care. This is some sort of thing. I'm pretty sure it was an attachment. It was a shoe that would go on like this, but it doesn't quite fit. This, you can see this used to be a sticker over over here, I could read some of the letters on it and decipher some of the words, and it said something about versatility shoe, so I assume this went to another type of circular saw. So with those things aside, the only things that go with this saw, that work with this saw are the things, of course. That works with it. This works with it. This, I'm not sure if it works with it, it might. And, of course, the blade works with it. It came with this blade. It's a combination rip cross-cut blade. Looking in the original book, you kind of see all the original things that this thing boasted about. Of course, my camera is too blurry to be able to read this, and I won't be reading it to you, so, yeah. If I'm accurate, this cost about $29.99 back in 1967. I saw an advertisement for this somewhere, so I assume that would have been a great deal of money for back then. Now... This box also, I will note, in this book, it actually shows you some of the attachments that this thing would have came with, or I meant would have been optional. As you, if you can see kind of there, the saw carrying case would have been around $14.99. Now... You know what, this might have actually been original, but I think this might have been painted over once. Not sure if the case was actually black, or if it's just because this is a black and white picture that it's just not showing up. Regardless, that's not important. What's important is the saw. I did oil it. Like I said before, because I assume this thing hasn't been oiled in uh, mo many decades. And what happens to oil is, oh, after a period of 40, 45 years, is it turns to sludge. And I'm going to plug this thing in. And I'm just, this thing is amazingly loud. So, I will demonstrate it. Just to show you that it works quickly. You can, if you look, you can kind of see my lights flicker a bit. So I assume this thing has a somewhat high load since it's a 9 amp thing. And I have it on a 20, I think, no, a 15 amp circuit, which is standard. So I'm just gonna. Put this thing back. I think I showed you enough. I wish I could show you it cutting wood, but unfortunately, I, it's about midnight at this point, and I don't think, and I really don't want to have to go out to the shed to get you some wood. Well, then it's a bit late for me to be cutting this thing. So, 
Yeah. Overall, it's in very good condition for its age. I think I got a good deal knowing how I only paid 30 bucks for it. And I believe... And I will also point out that I haven't done yet that this whole thing is completely metal. It's a whole... <clears throat> it's a aluminum... It has an aluminum body. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll see you guys in the next video.